Hey sis, it's me, Rebecca, your creative transformation mindset strategist and chief bakeologist at Maggie's Cupcake Cafe. And I'm back with yet another Lemonade Mindset tip for this Monday. So sis, today I'm gonna to talk about creativity. A lot of people, when they think about creativity, they think it's something that you, um, you know, that you, you're trained, like you go to school for it, um, that you have to be perfect at it. But I wanna to talk to you about the three um, acts of creativity that I challenge you. I wanna challenge you to try this week. The first one, of course, is the mindset creativity. You know, mindset, I call myself the creative transformation and mindset strategist because mindset work is all about being open. It's all about being connected to spirit and self and recognizing that there are other ways that one can think that are healthy and nurturing. So the first one is mindset creativity. So I challenge you to try something this week that's out of your comfort zone. Something that is that is going to connect you or reconnect you to the self that you're trying to become. So whether it's challenge yourself to think positive for at least 10 minutes a day or to mind your thoughts, like every time you feel something negative pop in, stop it in its tracks and replace it immediately with something positive or to get out and take a 10 minute walk. Some of you know I'm doing my 10 minute walk challenge where I'm challenging you to walk for 10 minutes every day, right? But mindset creativity or mindset creation is it's for you. It's when you know, you recognize that I've got to change the way that I'm thinking. I need to do something different, right? So that's the first act of creativity. The second act of creativity, which is one of my favorites, of course, is the artistic creativity, the artistic self. That is something that you do for you. So whether it's doodling or um, uh, working with yarn or painting or any kinds, any type of arts and crafts or even sculpting, but it's something, you're doing something for you. Spirit is pulling on you to create, to express yourself through that creative uh, piece, whatever it is. And this isn't something that you're gonna sell to others necessarily. It's not even something you might show anyone. But the artistic creativity, it's a moment for you to again, connect or reconnect with that sense of self, that divine presence. Um, that's calling on you to create, put your hands on something, put your mind to something, that's artistic creativity. And no one can tell you if it's right or wrong. Why? Because it's just for you, sis. And then that third act of creativity, this is what I call the othering creativity. This is for those of you who are like me, who are writers for hire or professional editors or you know professional artists in general, where you are hired to create something for someone else. This form of creativity is also very powerful in that you are tasked to bring someone else's vision to life. And that is indeed a marvelous, marvelous gift. And so if you're hired to do something for someone else, how, you know, I know that there can be roadblocks to, to figuring it out because trust me, I, I write for others. So I know sometimes it's hard to think about what to, um, it's hard to get out of your head and get into your client's head. But I would encourage you that the one way that you can do that is to understand what your job is and that is to help someone else birth something. So get out in nature, have deep conversations with your client, but tap into that other part of living which is putting yourself in someone else's shoes. And then in that way, you'll be able to tap into that creative power that you need to bring someone else's vision to life. That is indeed a gift. So whether it's a, a project that you have to do or a presentation, whatever it is that you have to assist someone else in bringing their vision to life, I want you to, I want to challenge you this week to, to step outside of self and see if that is a way to tap into uh, othering creativity, uh, othering, re <laughs> look, I can't even speak today, creativity. <laughs> okay, so, so again, those are our three Lemonade Mindset Tips for this week. We're talking about creativity. And the first one we talked about was mindset creati creativity, artistic creativity, which is for self, and then othering creativity, which is for others. Either way, sis, I hope you have a fantastic week. Make sure to follow me on Facebook under Rebecca Pierce, Instagram under Pierce Rebecca, of course, here on TikTok. And you can find me on LinkedIn. And of course, I'll see you next week with another Lemonade Mindset Tip. Have a good one.